It's cataractcoach.com talking about using a sufficient degree of OVD to insert the lens. So routine case here, end of the case. Cortex is being removed completely. That looks great. Now we have an a fake guy and an empty capsule bag. So we'll use our cohesive viscoelastic to fully inflate the capsule bag. So there's a good fill, a solid fill of viscoelastic. We definitely want the eye with a normal pressure. You see a little bit of egress from the incision. So we know it's a complete fill. And we'll insert the eye well here, single piece monofocal acrylic. It's gonna be inserted here, going in the capsule bag. Slow and steady on the delivery, that looks great. And here's where we end up with the issue. Watch carefully. As we use the chopper or second instrument to dial in the lens, we inadvertently flatten the anterior chamber. Look at the wrinkles in the cornea. So the AC is really flat now. We've lost some viscoelastic. So instead of trying to suffer, just inject more cohesive viscoelastic. There it is, on top of the IOL pushing the eye well into the capsule bag, deepening the anterior chamber, and giving us a lot more working room. The danger is, if you try to insert the eye well or dial it into position with the anterior chamber flat and the capsule bag not fully inflated, you can inadvertently damage the capsule bag. So you gotta be very careful here. Remember our saying, viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous. So in this case, inject a little more viscoelastic. Make sure the AC is fully inflated. Make sure the caps or bag is completely inflated before we manipulate the IOL and try to dial the haptics into the caps or bag. So a very important lesson here. This is an ounce of prevention, saving you from a pound of cure. So so much easier to put the viscoelastic in and inflate the eye properly instead of trying to force things and ending up with a complication. Great lesson. Thank you for watching.